everyone, I'm James, and this is your short morning Qigong practice to get you energised and ready for the day through gentle movement that's hopefully going to make you feel really good for the rest of your day. Let's begin. So we're going to begin this practice standing up. So come on up if you're seated. And we're going to start standing with the feet shoulder width apart. The inside edges of your feet are really parallel and let the toes spread and fan out to begin. Let the arms hang gently and rather than locking your knees out, let the knees be a little bit soft, a bit of bounce in them. Start to rock forwards and back on the feet. I'm lifting my toes and my heels alternately starting to wake up the sole of the foot. I'm going to slowly work through each major joint of the body, creating a little bit of space and movement. Now come back to centre on the foot and let's go side to side. These simple, slow, repetitive movements can be so helpful for the joints. Without stressing the body or overworking ourselves, you can still get all the benefits of strength and mobility. Now from here, step your feet together and slide your hands down your thighs just above your knees. The knees are a little bit bent now, you're kind of sitting back. Start to circle the knees in one direction. We'll circle five times. There's three, four, and five. And then go the other way unsurprisingly. Three more. And then coming back to centre. From here, slide the hands back up the thighs, come to stand, and then slide back down, coming into a little squat. Just repeating. Send the hips back. Just waking up the knees. If they're a little bit creaky or clicky, fear not. Most of us have that, especially if it's in the morning. It's bringing fluid through the joints. Also that sense that as we free up and release the joints, chi or energy can flow more freely through the body. One more. From here come to stand again. Once again, step your feet shoulder width apart. This time could you take your hands to your hips with your hands on your hips, we're going to draw a figure eight shape with the pelvis. Imagining a figure eight in the air and rocking your hips around that shape. A little bit like the infinity symbol. And Qigong really is moving meditation in many ways. So we sense what you can feel. All the little sensations in the feet, the ankles, the hips. And of working things loose, freeing things up. And then let's go the other way. It's always tricky, this one, right? <laughs> Rocking and rolling. And your breath as we do this is calm and getting a little bit longer and deeper as we practice. Also, as you move, sense if your belly could relax a little bit and then you can really breathe deeply, taking breaths into the lowest parts of your lungs, the lowest lobes. It's these really capillary rich regions where it's really efficient to breathe. And slowly coming back to center, coming to stand. From here, bring your feet hip distance apart. Shift weight onto your right foot and step your left toes behind you, a really short distance. You're just on the ball of the foot and the big toe. Take your arms out to the sides, the elbows a little bit rounded, and now bend your front knee slightly. There's a bit of work in the front leg. Start to open the left knee out to the side, spinning on the big toe, and then close the hip again. Knee comes into the standing leg. Opening and closing. 
Let's take a few more here. Rather than sticking your bum out and flaring your chest, think about dropping your tailbone down, keeping the chest a little relaxed and low. Two more. This is really effective for helping wake up the muscles in your butt, the glutes, especially on the outside of the hip. Replace the foot and let's step back with the right foot. Big toe down, really short distance. Again, tailbone dropped, chest relaxed, and opening and closing. Take your standing knee ears a little bit bent as we start to build some heat. As we cultivate energy in the practice of Qigong, we often start to build a little heat. We get surprisingly warm. Let's take three or four more. Think of it as uh, fanning the flame so you've got lots of energy for the day. <clears throat> and then come back to center, place the feet flat. Still keeping your knees unlocked and a little bit bent, could you bring your right hand to the opposite side of your chest? Your left arm now, spread the fingers, reach them down towards the ground. We're gonna circle the arm back, take the hand forwards, as the arm comes by the ear, turn the palm away and circle back slowly. Continue. As you circle, see if you can keep your chest and your hips facing forwards rather than turning the spine like this. So the movement's really just coming from that shoulder. As we do this, we map out the joint in our mind, in our nervous system, so we can become more precise with our movements, become more aware. And as we become more aware, it's easier to notice where there's tension, and then it's easier to release that tension because we feel it, and we go, oh, my shoulder's tense. Maybe I can just drop it. Let's switch sides. And again, really fan the right fingertips down and slow motion circle. Palm turns away. If you imagine learning any new skill, it's helpful to go slow, right? So if we're really trying to learn how the joint moves, what feels good, where we have strength and where we don't, helpful to go slow. Really feel into all the little movements in the shoulder. Just a few more. And last one. Let the shoulder hang, shake it out, drop the arms. Moving up towards the neck now. Let the arms hang gently. And could you tip your left ear towards your left shoulder like you're pouring water out of the ear? Let the opposite arm really hang heavy and gently rock the head forwards and back, just a couple centimeters, small movement. You could even open your mouth slightly here, letting the jaw hang. And sometimes you feel that stretch a little deeper all the way up behind the ear. Now start to roll your chin forwards into the other side. Water pouring out of the right ear and rocking the head backwards and forwards. Calm breath, belly relaxed. And maybe the mouth opens slightly, kind of zombie style. Oh. See what feels good and then roll to the other side and rolling just once more each side and then back to center. So now as we stand again, feet are planted, shoulder width apart, we're going to warm up the spine. Let the arms dangle, let the knees be soft. I'm going to ask you to imagine there was a spring between your knees, keeping your knees apart for this next movement. So they're not going to kind of bounce around like this. The knees stay apart. 
chest is relaxed, then you're going to stay facing forwards with the eyes. But start to swing the arms side to side. Arms are really heavy, very relaxed. And they'll start to tap the sides of the body as you do this. And again, as you swing, really imagine the knees and the hips are staying facing forwards. Your head is facing forwards. But your spine and your arms are twisting, rotating. This is sometimes called constant bear, or arm swings for health, if you want the practical terminology. As you swing, keep allowing the tailbone to drop, chest to be relaxed. And see how soft the whole movement could feel. Nice deep breaths. This movement is great for awakening the spine, but also helpful for digestion, starting to move the organs around a bit, waking everything up. Start to slow it down now, turbine going off, until you find yourself standing still for a moment. Let's take a pause here. From here, we're now going to step the feet a little bit wider, wider than the shoulders. Inside edges of the feet, still pretty much parallel. But this time, could you bend the knees quite confidently? Again, don't stick your bum out. Send the tailbone down, chest relaxed, not puffed out. From here, take the arms overhead. And now could you drop the left arm down by the side and lean over? Sway to the other side. And as we sway tight side to side, you might imagine reeds on the river bank, gently blowing in the breeze, playful, but full of movement, full of life and full of energy, cultivating that as we move. Taking one more each side, and now this time, on this side, pause. Bring your spine back to center and gather the hands towards the heart, like you could collect sunshine at the heart. As you breathe in, straighten the legs, open the chest, lift. And now as you breathe out, bend your knees, fold, cross the wrists, and circle the arms back up. Circling down two more times, bend the knees, long spine. Breathing in, breathing out, touching the earth and touching the sky. Fingertips trickle down like raindrops. Arms rising overhead once more. And this time swaying to the right side, leaning over. Again, in Qigong, many of the images or movements were inspired by water fluidity. And sometimes when we wake up, we feel like everything is ice, locked, hard, uncomfortable. But as we practice, the heat of the qi, the heat of the energy, starts to melt that ice, ice becoming water, fluid and free, like rivers, streams, reeds by the riverbank. One more time each side. This time, once again, bring your spine to center, gathering the earth from below, the sky from above, mixing them in the heart, grounded and open. Shine light from the chest, lift open, and bowing to Mother Earth. Circle the arms up, soft knees, and bowing twice more. Once again, fingertips fall like gentle raindrops beside you and stepping back in to center. From here, turn the palms out besides the body as we close the practice. Get a sense if there's anything that's weighing you down or holding you back, anything you're anxious about. As you reach the arms out, imagine you could scoop all of that up, collect it. 
middle fingers face each other overhead. And now you clear all those anxieties and frustrations out. The hands clearing the body of the things you no longer need. Let's take that movement again. This time gather the things which make you feel calm, focused, peaceful and productive. And imagine you could fill those qualities into your form, to your being for the day. And then finally, one last time, imagine you could create an aura of gold light around you, sealing all that good stuff in. And really preparing yourself for the day ahead. At the bottom of the movement, step the feet in. And if it feels good to you, you might close one hand at the belly, one hand at the heart. Let your eyes close softly for a moment. And take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And again, inhaling vibrancy, freshness, creativity, strength. Exhaling anything that's stagnant or toxic. Last time, breathing in together. Breathing out. Into a calm, clear space. Take a little bow as we close our practice. So thank you so much for taking this practice today. I hope it sets you up really well for whatever you've got ahead. If you liked this or you have feedback, please leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great day.